Well guys, I've just uh, done a load of laundry in my Panda XPB45. Uh, and it's hanging up to dry here. So this is going to be a review. Uh, I'm gonna step back a few minutes, <laughs> show you everything I did. And uh, I think in general, I'm gonna say uh, it worked pretty good. It worked pretty good for what I need. And I think these things are, are excellent for say apartments or condos where you don't have your own laundry facility in your uh, in your own apartment <coughs> and uh, the uh, I think it's a great little unit um, uh, and they're lightweight it's got to be about 40 pounds so it's pretty easy to move around and um, yeah and in off-grid situations I'm not so sure because it does take a lot of power to run and uh, it takes a lot of water as well so, I mean, I have lots of power here, and I've got a rain barrel full of water, <coughs> so I was able to do it. But anyway, let me take you through it so you can see it. First test of the washing machine. Yay! Bring it out here because it's just going to drain over the side of the deck. Bring this out one side or the other, it looks like. I was thinking about what my first load should be and I, I really want to do that yellow blanket that's on the couch because it's really dirty but and it's also covered with dog hair but I thought uh, maybe we'll try something a little simpler than that so they say 10 pounds of clothing <coughs> 10 pounds sure so here we go my comfy pants my other pants that I've been wearing out outdoors my cargo pants <coughs> underwear shirt Two socks and my fleece shirt. Ten pounds? Maybe. I'll give you a look. So, um, pretty much it. So, and then I'm going to bring the water up to this line. It doesn't have to go any higher than that, or it shouldn't go any higher than that. Say that was four gallons. <clears throat> Jesus. That's gotta be enough. <laughs> that's a lot of water, man. I'm gonna say this. If I filled that right up, that's gotta be like ten gallons. And then I gotta rinse it in another 10 gallons. And then I should rinse it again in another 10 gallons. Boy, they. So, and then you uh, you set your normal or heavy. You don't wanna drain just yet. And you set your timer. using camp soap biodegradable camp suds it's, it's highly concentrated 
So, um, I don't. I wish I had some measuring spoons. One mosquito has decided to bug me. I don't. I have no idea how much to use. So I'm really. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna try that much. And then I'm gonna run it and see how many suds that creates. Boy, the water's already really dirty. definitely don't want to use too much soap and they say in the I saw in the reviews they, they said don't use too much soap because it'll like foam right up but I don't want to use too much soap because it'll take even longer to rinse out I think I want to use it a little bit more I'm not seeing enough suds I've got this little power meter. I wanted to see it. This should be using no more than 280 watts right now. I'm going to verify if I can. <laughs> the timer stays on even though it's unplugged. Jesus, that's only supposed to be 280. <coughs> I think I had more soap here. This is three spoons now. Sure looks murky in there. Well, let's drain her. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Spin dry it. off manually when I think it's done. I guess. So, uh, this, this side is much smaller than the other side. I don't think I can put as many things in. <clears throat> and 
time. I guess that's about it. Well, even with my glasses on, even with my glasses on, I can't find a Mac fly, so I'm just gonna wing it. Well, I mean, it can go for up to five minutes, which is pretty impressive, but uh, I'm just going to stick it back for the rinse cycle so it doesn't need to be that dry. Oh, I forgot to... Well, I'm looking at the power monitor, and it's showing 170, 180 watts. Yeah, I don't know what... Uh, yeah, their power things. Power rating is messed up. <laughs> I don't. <clears throat> I don't see any way that big yellow blanket that I want to wash. I'm, it'll fit in here, I'm sure, but it's. I don't think it's going to fit in there. Wow, when I lifted the lid, it uh, just stopped very quickly. Wow, that's impressive, actually. That's what I would call damp. That's amazing. That's a bit wetter. Hmm. That's pretty cool. All right, we're going to do a swap here. Dogs, easy, easy. Uh, one minute, maybe. That really goes. That's impressive. Try like that. Five gallons should be enough, man. Well, I'd like to not run it again and not use more water, but boy. 
This water's looking pretty murky, so I think I have to. That's amazing. Are you okay? Well, there you have it. Relatively clean clothes. One thing I don't have set up is a, uh, a clothesline. I do have clothesline. So I'm set it up, and unfortunately, the, there's no area around here that gets a lot of sun because there's so many trees. But uh, I'll figure something out. A little disappointed. <clears throat> so it used up to 380 watts on this side, um, but it doesn't use any watts between the agitations when it pauses briefly it goes right to zero so maybe they're averaging that out to their 280 number but yeah 380 between 350 and 380 watts while it's agitating and this side when it was spinning up it hit 250 watts and then settled down to about 183 watts when it was at full spin so a little surprised at, at their numbers but uh not that it's a big deal. I got lots of power today. I'm generating 24.9 amps right now. <coughs> Tons of power. So. <coughs> well, that's it. A load of laundry. So guys, I'm not sure if you can see me very well, but you've got to see this view. <clears throat> get this view in there that was my review of the panda xbb 45 washing machine and spin dryer <laughs> odd flies around here so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you got something good out of it i think i paid around 290 dollars canadian oh shit i really should check that <clears throat> yeah sorry i had to go check that i wanted to make sure i, I was right so yeah it was 259.99 on amazon and uh, since I ordered it with uh, Prime, uh, I have a Prime membership, it was uh, no, sh no shipping charges, which is pretty good. Arrived at my front door. So, yeah, so that's it. And uh, if you have any questions, down there is where to put them. And I will answer as best I can. And, uh, yeah. Enjoy this view at Raspberry Rock.